this is my unboxing video for the Amazon uh, Sh Echo Show 8. A lovely doorbell adapter, a lovely ring doorbell as well. Just to give you a bit of background, I know some of you are going to be like, oh God, is going on? Just get on with the video. I will get on with the video, but I just want to say for the record, I am a very, very... Um, how can I say? I am really plugged into Google's ecosystem. And since the Google Chrome cast uh, messed up on me and it wouldn't fix itself, um, I decided to give the Amazon Fire Stick 4K a try. And it's been amazing. It's led me into um going and looking at the rest of amazon's products so i was looking at an echo dot um previously uh and then obviously i bought the kindle but the kindle actually was pretty good uh, to be honest with you um so let's see what we got here we've got a really nice funky box that smells like lavender washing up powder and it's packed really nicely like this i don't know why just to show that it's not been tampered with i guess so this is the echo show 8 so this has a 8 inch hd screen a camera with a built-in cover we need that because we don't want people spying on us now do we uh, stereo speakers now i want to try them out i don't really like listening to music on like dodgy style speakers when i mean dodgy i mean not part of a system um so yeah that would be interesting to test out because i know uh i have tested out a couple of echoes and they are actually pretty decent the very old echo i don't even know what model it is it's at my friend's house so we've got uh, three and a half millimeter audio output which is brilliant so i can plug it into my um 5.1 system if i wanted obviously uh it has bluetooth don't know why i would need that if i if it's connecting to wi-fi fair field voice control what does that mean and it's got a microphone on and off button and it's compatible with amazon music uh apple music Spotify, Amazon, uh, sorry, Prime Video, which I do use, uh, Ring and Hue. So is that Philips Hue? Yeah, I think that's Philips Hue. So it says what you get inside the box is the Echo Show 8 and the power adapter setup is simple, requires Wi-Fi. Right. Oh, and on the other side, it's just blurb. Amazon can show you things, or Alexa can show you things. Now, okay, that was a bit of an anticlimax. <laughs> so uh, when I um, well I was looking for a assistant uh, of some type, I ultimately and without hesitation went to Google. So my whole like computer, web, all everything is all. Googlified, which isn't a bad thing for me like my lights can turn on via voice commands to google uh, home but the thing is they can also be uh used with oh my God, look at this this is some funky design um there you go let's see I don't want it to fall out and break. Ooh, whoa, there we go. And there, that is pretty cool. Look at that. Yeah, so as I was saying, so you get some information, and you get the power adapter, which is a three pin, obviously, because we're in the UK, and a really nice cable to go with it, but it's a barrel plug which is annoying because if if something breaks on this I know Amazon uh, provides replacements but 
if uh, if it gets fucked, you're fucked. And the rest of it is just that's a lot of packaging to be honest with you. There's nothing in there, is there? Right. Okay. So this has a lovely little carry case, which I actually might use at some point. Let's put that down. Don't care about the smiley faces. So all we want to look at is this bad boy. Now, I wasn't sure about this wedge shaped design, but then I thought to myself, uh, give it a try. So here it is. Sorry, you can see my post-it note still there. <laughs> so you've got an eight inch screen and you've got this lovely fabric feel, exactly like the Google Home and uh, it's got the buttons on the top so this is your camera slide off so if you slide it off it actually turns white uh, and then you've got the volume rocker well volume button plus and then a minus and then you've got to turn off everything it plugs in the power plugs in here and it has the three and a half millimeter uh, audio port which is brilliant. I think that's a really good addition that I'm missing on the Google Home. And that was one of the things that I was annoyed about. The other thing was that I couldn't change the keyword to say. So instead of saying, uh, hey, Google, um, I couldn't change it to like computer. But on this, you can. So I might show you that. Um, I might not. Sorry, I don't understand. And then it's got this uh, micro uh, USB um, option here as well. So I guess you can power it from micro USB also. So um, I don't know why they give you both options, but there you go. Both options are available. Just make sure you get a really decent cable though. So on the bottom, you get this lovely um, rubber bit that will make sure it doesn't slip and then underneath my finger here is the actual um, serial number so I'm gonna hide that don't know what if it's gonna do anything or not but I'm gonna hide it I wonder if this has battery power shall we try switching it on um, there's nowhere to switch it on from I guess it just switches on automatically when you plug it in and then obviously oh I missed the two mics there you've got two mics so I think that would be good. I think uh, somebody online said that it actually has a rear mic as well if you're facing away from it. So I thought that was actually pretty good. Let's unplug the plug. Unplug the plug. Ugh. Unbox the plug. Unwrap the plug. Making a mess. I'm gonna plug it in. Here we go. And action. Wow, it actually did it. <laughs> Got crap all over the place. So this is part of the Amazon Prime Day deals. And I got this for £59. And for an extra £10, I got this. How cool is that? Um, earlier today, I downloaded the Alexa app. So... I'm going to make sure that they're connected and everything's working nicely. Getting your device online. This may take a moment. Shouldn't take that long at all, mate. Sort it out. Come on, Jeff. Okay, so English, un English United Kingdom. We. Oui. Hello. Ready for setup. Ooh. The audio sounds really good. Okay, so plug in who I am so it's connecting it's a shame it doesn't have a tripod <laughs> hole on it in it because that would be interesting too fetching registration status Woo! exciting hi answer it knows who I am how Do they pre-program it when it when it leaves the factory? What? I am proper confused. Look, it's got my 
Oh, it's got my details. The hell? If you enter, if that's you, enter your Amazon password to set up your Echo Show 8. I can't remember my bloody password. Okay, well, I did remember my <laughs> my password. Now it sent a code to my phone, which I need to, oh my God. Unfortunately, I can't multitask, so I have to keep looking at each number. It's loading, it's loading. Hello, loading. You don't smell of lemon now, your box does. What's this? British summertime, obviously. Duh. Okay, now I'm setting up the living room, or the Echo's name to the living room. Use a wallpaper. Arr. Do nature for now. Continue. Download the latest Alexa mobile app and log in to continue. What the hell? Oh, there you go. Checking at uh, checking for app login. How the hell? Okay, now it's saying uh, login to continue. Use the app to set up calling and messaging with Alexa. I don't want nothing to do with that. Skip that shit. It wants to know everything that I do. Everything I do. Oh, look at this. It wants me to sign up for bloody. Audible, no thank you. It's gonna advertise to me, isn't it? The Google Home doesn't advertise to me, surprisingly. Almost. This device is ready. Oh wow, it's boomy. The audio is boomy. Ooh, I spat on it. There, it's done. It's 5.27, is it 5.27? Okay, so I'm gonna set this up. Uh, with all the settings that I want and then I'm going to place it where it needs to go and then I'm going to install the doorbell on the weekend I'll show you the doorbell shortly okay so the next thing to open is the ring doorbell now best way to do this oh okay there you go lift it up lift it out booklets and shit emptiness hello okay so this comes with a really good screwdriver comes with some connectors and cables comes with the stuff screws and stuff and then the doorbell itself the thing I'm worried about is where's the back plate that sits on the back plate doesn't it so what I'm going to do is read the instructions on this one before installing it then the final thing is just the um, easiest way to plug this uh, doorbell into my system without into the house power without having to put in a new fuse in the fuse box for a certain um, type Ooh, yeah don't forget about that without having a certain voltage go through so these work on a different voltage and because I don't have a doorbell already I don't have the system so this is absolutely perfect so yeah I'm gonna play with my new toys and I'll let you know uh, how I get on hi guys <laughs> so in between my testing uh, of the Google no not the Google Alexa there's no such thing uh, my testing of uh, the uh, Amazon uh, Echo Show 8 I was about to say 5 um, I was really impressed during my testing when I first started using it and then um, it's been it's, has it been a week? I think it's been a full week now and what I ended up doing is I started ordering this 
So I now have an Echo Dot for my bedroom and this just came today and it was left on the doorstep in inner city Birmingham uh, because there was a doorbell with a camera on it nobody went anywhere near it <laughs> and I'm shocked that it was still at my doorstep crazy okay so um, I'm gonna open this I'm not gonna review this I don't think unless I do like a review a few weeks later or a few months later I don't know I might do a six month review on this item but this is it so this is the echo dot now I like the hockey puck version which is, this is the third generation and I decided to go for that instead of the big ball because um, I like the size the form factor and it's easier to put places it's easier to put on the wall if you've got one of the uh, one of the um, wall hangers and there is the cable and unfortunately it doesn't come with a USB uh, or a micro USB uh, port uh, it's actually one of these barrel ports here barrel pins and uh, what is this this is 5 volt isn't it and it's actually quite heavy compared to my uh, Google Home and this is going to be interesting to use so I'm going to install this so um, on this it's got that same kind of uh, material and it's got the buttons on top here so you've got your what button is that so I don't know what button that is I think that's for an action that's for muting audio and uh, this one is obviously volume down and this is volume up and then the other reason to purchase this and this is one of the reasons why I was originally looking at this before I bought the Google Home but the Google Home has got better um, AI uh, is for this audio port so you, you've got the barrel connector and the audio port and this gives me so many different up, up, uh, this gives me so many different ways of using this device and it actually feels really nice it's actually very premium so what I'm going to do is I'm going to answer the door to uh, the delivery guy and then I'm going to plug this in and I'm going to set it up No sound. It's not actually doing anything. Oh, there you go. Hello, your device is ready for setup. Just download the Alexa app and follow the instructions. Hallo, dein Gerät kann jetzt eingerichtet werden. Lade dazu die Alexa App runter und folge den Anweisungen. Bonjour, votre appareil est prêt pour wow, la configuration. Téléchargez l'application Alexa et suivez les instructions. Ciao, il dispositivo è pronto per la configurazione. Scarica l'app Alexa e segui le istruzioni. Hola, il dispositivo está listo para que lo configures. Descarga la app Alexa e sigue las instrucciones. Bringing your device online. Just a moment. Oh wow, it's done it. <laughs> I didn't have to touch anything. Your echo is ready. Thanks. And then I'm going to continue with my tests and then start editing this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Don't know why I did that when it's a mid unboxing. Anyway, enjoy. <laughs>